Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. Spherical balloon is inflated with gas at the rate of 800 cubic centimeters per minute. How fast is the radius of the balloon increasing? At the instant, the radius is 30 centimeters. Let's draw a picture of a sphere. So we're just gonna draw a circle and then in the middle of it, we're just gonna draw an oval to represent the center slice of the sphere. And then we're gonna draw the radius coming out from the center, we'll call that R, the volume of a sphere. Anyone remember what it is? 4 thirds pi R cubed. What is the 800 cubic centimeters per minute? What is that referring to? The rate of what? So isn't that referring to the rate at which the volume is increasing? One hint here is that we're talking about cubic centimeters, which is a measure of what? Volume. So this is the rate of change of the volume with respect to time. And this, in this case, they're telling us that the VDT is 800 cubic centimeters per minute, consistently that. How fast is the radius of the balloon increasing at the instant the radius is 30 centimeters? So they're giving us some information about R. 30 centimeters is referring to R at one particular moment in time. What are they asking us to find? How fast is the radius increasing? dr dt in this problem so we need the relationship between dv dt and dr dt we have the relationship between v and r so we're going to differentiate so we're going to take the derivative with respect to t of the left side and the derivative with respect to t of the right side so we have dv dt is equal to now remember the four thirds and the pi are coefficients we don't have to do anything with those those just stay the same so we really just need to take the derivative with respect to time of r cubed. We're gonna bring the three out front, subtract one from it, and since r and t are different variables, we have to multiply times dr dt. All right, the threes are gonna cancel, and so we have dv dt is equal to four pi r squared dr dt. So that's our formula. We're being asked to find the how fast is the radius increasing. So we're trying to find dr dt equals we don't know what. And we are given what? dv over dt is 800. Good. And r is 30. Let's make sure that we start paying attention to the units. The volume is changing in terms of cubic centimeters per minute. Luckily, the radius was given to us in terms of centimeters. Sometimes they will trip you up by giving you maybe meters and centimeters or something and you have to do a little converting. So let's plug in. We have 800 for our dv dt equals four pi times r squared, so 30 squared dr dt, which is what we're looking for. All right, so dr dt is going to be equal to 800 over four pi times 900. And so that's gonna be, let's see, two over nine pi. And what do you think the units are? Centimeters per minute, good. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.